about latitudes and longitudes for that we need to know first about what is a globe so let's look at the picture globe is a perfect model of earth and it represent earth to be a perfect sphere whereas our planet earth in reality is not a perfect sphere it is an oblate spheroid or geoid which means that it is bulging at the equator and flattened at the poles but as the globe represent the planet earth so if we try to locate any place on the globe then we need to take help of the grid system that is earth's grid or geographical grid and the grid is drawn with the help of imaginary lines vertical and horizontal imaginary lines known as latitudes and longitudes so students before we learn about earth's grid we need to know what are latitudes and what are longitudes so let's start with latitudes latitudes are imaginary line joining places having same angular distance either north or south of the equator so students let's understand this definition with the help of this diagram if you can see this diagram it is shown very clearly the this is the equator and suppose we need to draw 45 degree latitude then from the center of the earth an angle is drawn and this is the baseline and on we when we get 45 degree angle here wherever it touches the circle we draw a line parallel to the equator so this gives us the 45 degree north latitude similarly in the southern hemisphere also if we want to get 45 degree south latitude then we follow the same process we uh, take the center of the earth and make an angle and here we have made 45 degree angle and wherever it touches the circle from there we draw a line parallel to the equator so it becomes 45 degree south latitude so students like this we get or we calculate the latitude of a place and this is the method with the help of which we have drawn all the latitudes so this is the definition of latitudes now we will see more about latitudes we will learn about the characteristics so if you see in this diagram then you can see clearly that equator is a line which divides the earth into northern half and southern half we call this the area the part of the earth above the equator is called northern hemisphere and the part of the earth below the equator is known as southern hemisphere so we can say equator is the largest possible circle that can be drawn along the globe and it divides the earth into two hemispheres northern hemisphere and below the equator southern hemisphere now what about other latitudes so latitudes are horizontal imaginary lines and they are all drawn parallel to the equator children have put arrows to show that all the latitudes are parallel to the equator so what are the characteristics of latitude we can find out from the explanation i have just given first one they are imaginary lines horizontal lines second one they are all parallel to each other that is they are parallel to the equator then if we want to know more then we can say that by looking at the diagram that the all the latitudes they are not equal in length and when we move from equator to the poles that is north we call this north pole and this end is known as south pole so when we move from equator to the poles uh, either north or south then the length of the latitudes decreases and then we can say more that the uh, equator is the largest latitude and as we that is marked as 0 degree then we have 90 latitudes in southern hemisphere and 90 latitudes in the northern hemisphere so 90 in the north and 90 in the south total becomes 180 
plus equator. So there are 181 latitudes in total. And they are all, pa all parallel to each other. And you know students, the distance between two latitudes is approximately 111 kilometers. And there are certain latitudes which are considered to be very important and they help to divide the earth into heat zones. So we will learn about this later in the chapter. Now students we will learn about longitude. So what is a longitude or line of longitude? So a line of longitude is an imaginary line that joins all the places with same angular distance either east or west of the prime meridian. So if you can recall the definition of latitude, line of latitude, so it seems similar. Only the difference is here east or west and they are, these are vertical lines. Whereas in case of latitudes, they were horizontal imaginary lines. Now students, I will also uh, tell you the characteristics of longitude and we will also compare the characteristics of latitudes and longitudes so that you understand the difference between these two and your concept becomes clear. So, as we measure in case of latitude, we measure uh, the angle from, we take it the center of the earth and from there we measure an angle and we draw a latitude. Similarly, in case of longitude also, the same method is followed but it is drawn either east or west of the prime meridian. So let's have a look at this diagram and with the help of this I will explain more about longitudes. So if you see here, there is a line drawn. This is, it's written prime meridian. So students, uh, as equator is the most important latitude, it is the reference line uh, and other latitudes are drawn following the equator. Similarly, in case of Longitudes, prime meridian is a reference line, the most important uh, longitude and it is marked as 0 degree. We call this prime meridian and it passes through Greenwich, India, London and there is a British Royal Observatory and from that place it passes and therefore this longitude has been named, is marked as the most important longitude and named as prime meridian. Now all the other longitudes have been drawn either east or west. So towards the east there are 180 longitudes and towards the west 180 longitudes. So total it becomes 180 and 180 becomes 360. But there is one more that is the prime meridian. So it should be 361. So there should be 361 longitudes but there are only 360 longitudes. The answer is that 180 degree east and west longitude which will be just opposite to 0 degree on the other side of the globe is a common line means 180 degree east and west they overlap and it's a single line in spite of being two separate lines 180 degree east and west are one line one single line so this makes the total number of longitudes to be 360 so students, let's discuss the characteristics of longitudes. As I told, prime meridian is a reference line. There are 360 longitudes. All the longitudes are equal in length and they meet at the North Pole and South Pole. Longitudes along with the latitudes, when they intersect each other, they help to locate a place on the earth and longitude also helps us to calculate time. Now students, we know, we learn further in this chapter that how the longitudes help us to calculate time. Because we know our earth is spherical and the time varies when we move from one longitude to the another. We will learn about this later in the chapter. For now, we, we uh, should know that longitudes help to calculate time and it also helps to locate a place along with the latitudes. Here we will talk about Earth's grid. Students look at this diagram. You can see that the vertical longitude and the horizontal latitudes, they form a complex network. And this is known as 
grid system or earth's grid and this helps us to locate any place on the earth very precisely you know what we also divide a uh, longitude or a latitude into minutes and then further we divide it into seconds so that we can get exact location of a place so where a, a longitude and a latitude intersect that point gives us the location of a place now let's learn more about it spinning of the earth on its axis provide us with two natural points that is the north pole and the south pole because the earth is spinning along its axis so this is the axis of the earth this point becomes the north pole and this point becomes the south pole because of the earth is spinning along its axis so this is meant by this statement now what is one series of line is drawn from north pole to south pole and they are known as meridians of longitude so the refer taking reference of the north and south pole we draw a series of line that is the vertical lines known as uh, meridians of longitude similarly another set of or series of lines are also drawn parallel to the equator known as parallels of latitude so the long the meridians of longitude and the parallels of latitude they intersect each, each other on the globe and they form a network and we call this earth's grid so here is the point it's written here clearly the complex network of latitudes and longitudes is known as earth's grid so this is about earth's grid now let's learn more about it the geographic grid so we have already seen about the earth's grid and here the network of parallels of latitude and the meridians of longitude they are drawn on a map or globe and they when they intersect they enable us to determine the location of any place so this Uh, is known as a geographic grid earth grid was the intersection of latitude and longitude and when that uh, network of latitudes and longitudes help us to locate any place on the map or on the globe then that is known as earth's geographic grid now students the intersection of latitude and longitude is at right angle and the point at which they intersect is the exact location of a place so here i have taken an example singapore's latitude is uh, which is passing is 1 degree north latitude and the longitude is 103 that is uh, 103 east means 103 here it's point 5 so 103.5 east longitude so when 1 degree north and 103.5 degree east longitude intersect that point where they are intersecting is where singapore is located so this is how we locate a place on the map or on the globe with the help of earth grid or geographic grid now the, there are two reference line that we follow to draw this the atlantic network of latitudes and longitudes and the reference points are the or we can say reference line are the, uh, the prime meridian and the equator so students in this module we have learned about earth's grid and geographic grid we have learned about the latitudes and longitudes and how they intersect to form the earth's grid So that's all in this module. Thank you.